Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine E-Bikes. Today I'm going to share with you some e-bike maintenance tips and some e-bike tips that are going to make your e-bike a better bike to ride every day just the way we do. The KT LCD3 controller computer is one of the most commonly used in the e-bike and e-bike conversion market today, and for good reason. It offers the user a lot of control and flexibility over the functions on their bike. It controls 20 important functions on your bike from maximum speed to pedal assist. Having ridden over a thousand miles with the KT LCD3, I find it extremely reliable and easy to program. Here's a breakdown of the functions it controls. To turn on the KT LCD display, first turn on your battery, then press the middle function button for three seconds. This brings up the first of three information displays about showing information about your e-bike, such as battery levels, trip distance, temperature, cruise function, lights, brakes, motor temperature, error codes, and more. To scroll through the three displays, press the middle function button briefly and it will change from display to display. To control the general project settings, hold down the up and down arrow keys for three seconds. This will bring you to your first settings. Here you can control maximum speed, wheel size, very important, miles per hour versus kilometers, temperature settings, and more. To change the settings, use the up and down arrow keys. When your selection appears, press the middle function button. It will save your settings and allow you to scroll to the next setting. When you're done making your selections, hold down the up and down arrow keys for three seconds. This will bring you to the parameter settings menu, where you'll see a blinking P1 at the bottom of your screen. P1 controls your motor characteristics parameters. You're going to want to check with your manufacturer for the correct settings for your, for your particular motor. Press the middle button to scroll to P2. P2 controls the wheel speed pulse signal. Again, if you don't know, consult with your manufacturer. It's really important not to change these default settings unless you know specifically about your motor. P3 sets your pedal assist functions. The settings are 0 through 5. When set to 0, the throttle is dependent on the pedal assist system gear ratio. When set to 5, the throttle will provide the most amount of power. P4 sets the throttle startup settings. This is an important one. When set to 1, the throttle will only activate the motor after the motor has been activated by a pedaling. When set to 0, the throttle will activate the motor when triggered. P5 is the power monitor setting. Again, this is important. If the setting isn't set, set correct, you won't be able to determine how much you have left in your battery. There are settings there for 24 volt, 36 volt, and 48 volt. But if you don't know the correct settings, set this to zero for real-time voltage mode. It'll give you a correct readout of how much you have left in your battery. When done with these five settings, press the up and down arrow keys to move to the C parameter settings. C1 is your throttle startup setting. Check your manual for your preferred settings. C2 is your motor phase classification coding mode. These parameters set the different phases of the motor when using a scene wave drive. You'll know if you have a scene wave drive. C3 is your power assist ratio gear. The settings are 0 through 5, 0 being the least pedal assisted by the motor and 5 being the most. C4 is your handlebar function settings. This controls various aspects of your throttle handling. C5 controls your maximum operating current. Again, check your manual for the appropriate settings. Very important. C6 is the backlit brightness setting for your LCD display. Settings are 1 through 5, 5 being the brightest. C7 is your cruise function setting if your controller supports cruise. 0 is for disabled, 1 enables it. C8 is the motor operating temperature display setting. Zero means disabled, one means enabled. I enabled this, I want to know how, how hot my motor is. C9 is the startup password setting. If you choose to put a password, you can scroll through your settings and create your own password. C10 is the restore default setting. This is important if you've entered the wrong settings and need to start over. Press Y to reset and N to keep the existing settings. C11 is your LCD attribute setting. Choices are 0 through 2. I would leave this at 0. C12 parameters are setting for the controller's minimum operating voltage. Again, I can't say this enough. Check your manual. C13 is the ABS brakes and anti-charge control settings. Again, check your manual before changing this. And finally, C14 is your power assist tuning setting. The settings are 1 through 3, 3 being the strongest. That's completely your choice. I hope this helps and enjoy all the great things you're eating.